Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today's flute tip is on low register tonguing, Tafanel and Gobert, number eight. So I've talked about low register tonguing and how good that is and to practice your low register short tones. But I want to give you another exercise that I find really valuable for me and my students and that is number eight of your Tafanel and Gobert. Tafanel and Gobert's number eight is a series of arpeggios going through all your different keys. Uh, it's different than number 10 and number 11 uh, in that it takes one line of arpeggios, uh, so say the C chord, and then it's going to give you that in major, minor, augmented, and diminished, and you just follow along and just change the key signature. When you're working for your low register tonguing, and when I do these with students, I only do A and B. I only do those two exercises because other than that, it starts going higher, and they're great to work on for other reasons, but if I want to really work on that low register, it's only A and B. So I will take the first exercise, and, and, and um, the first one is a diminished chord. So I'm going to use E flat and G flat starting on C. And I'm going to make it very short because I'm listening to see how well does that low C respond. How fast is it going to come out for me? very slowly and if you can see I did that all without using really any air I was just using the air that's in my mouth and so I held it all in and after a couple I have to actually let the air out to take a breath back in I want to play them very short and you don't go through this as written you just keep on a note until you feel like you've tongued it enough and finally you've got a good one to come out if it doesn't come out, uh, do it a few times. If it's still not coming out, then move on. Don't spend too much time. They do get frustrating, if, especially if they're not working for you. If I'm out of shape, this is not my go-to exercise. They will not come out. Uh, I need to really be worked in. My lip needs to be working properly. I need to be in tune with how I'm breathing and supporting. And then when I do it, it, it will, I'll get the benefit out of it as, as I can, much as I can. Uh, you'll also find that if you do that, your upper register benefits. I've said that on another flute tip. Working your low register benefits your high. So try number eight, doing just A and B, short tones, holding your air in, getting the best response that you can, especially on your low C. If you can get low C, you can get any note and see how much that really helps you to focus all of your sound on that short burst. It's gonna help you in every register. That's today's flute tip. If you like this video, share it with your friends, press the like button, subscribe, and comment below.